Okay, so far then we've looked at forward rates, we've looked at money market hedges, uh, and they're the ones you have to do the numbers on. The rest of the ways to deal with foreign exchange risks are simply, you have to just talk about them really, so be able to discuss them. Um, right, the first one is a currency future contract. Remember I said the word contract was important for a forward contract, it's also important for a future contract. But the difference between that and a forward is... These work in three monthly cycles. Okay, so you can get the futures for every three months. Um, they can be traded. This is how it's different. A forward rate, if you remember, what you have to do, you're committed to finish this off. This one, you don't have to finish it off. It can be traded at any time within that three months. And so what it means is, to give it a technical term, you close it out. And when you close it out, because the exchange rates will have moved according to what you've agreed in the future, then people say, well, you've made a good deal. Uh, and so therefore, in a couple of months' time, um, it looks like you're going to make a profit. But you could sell that now. So you could make a profit or a loss by closing it out early. So it was a good idea to take the contract. The exchange rates moved in such a way that it looks as though it's going to work in your favour by the end of the three months. Now, after a month you might say, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it out and make a future and make a profit or a loss. So they can be traded basically a bet. The other thing to know about them is Unlike the forward rates, these are standardised. You can't get one of these for 87,941, okay? They're standardised. They tend to be in blocks of 62,500. So if you've only got 40,000 that you're worried about, you're going to have to take on another 22,500 worth of risk. Um, so you're not really hedging perfectly. Okay, so that's what I would talk about in the exam. If you do want to see a bit more detail on this, and I, I, I don't suggest you do go into too much detail because it can be quite tricky, but I have put it in the textbook section, uh, how they work, and I've done it in numbers, but remember in the actual exam, you don't need to know numbers for this.